All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install uh, the DSD uh, software on a Linux uh, machine. So I'm just using a Raspberry Pi for this, but uh, it should work across the board pretty much. So let's go ahead and do an update. This is a fresh install. And we're just going to make sure we have a couple dependencies here then we'll move on now I'm not going to show how to really get into using this this video is pretty much on how just to install it I'm going to do another video of how to use uh, the DSD and uh, GQRX together with it so and I'll throw a link in the description to my website for uh, these commands and whatnot. <clears throat> so this is like a three-part thing we need to install. Alright, so now that that's done, we're going to do a wget. Oh, actually what I wanted to do is make a folder. And we'll just name it DSD. Then we're just going to put everything into it so we don't have it all over the place. So we'll go ahead and do that again. Then we'll tar it. Then we'll CD into it. <clears throat> then what we're going to do is make another directory here and name it build then we'll cd into that guy then we're going to do a cmake and we'll just let that compile all right so now that it's done let's run the make and i'll be back once this is done all right so that's done so now that we did a make we're going to do a sudo make install. Alright, so now that that's done, we are going to back out of this, back out of it again, so we can get back under the directory we made. Then we are going to install another piece of software that we need. So, and we are going to do the same thing. Make a build directory, and we can cd into that guy. Then, same command. Then we'll do a make, then a sudo make install, then we got uh, the last one. Then we'll be uh, done. So we'll do a make. This one won't take very long. All right, so now that that's done, we can do a sudo make install for that guy. We'll clear that, and like I said, we'll uh, back up into the DSD directory and now we can download the DSD software that we we'll need so with that being cleared we can make our directory one more time for this piece of software and like I said it's the same thing Pretty easy to do, and uh, I'll be back in a second. All right, so now that that's done, we can do a make. Oh, I forgot we need to install a few dependencies before we get going here. That may help 
things out. All right, so now that the uh, dependencies are installed and now we're CD'd into the DSD and we made our build directory, now we're CD'd into that. Here's where we need to do the CMake. I got a little bit confused there for a second. So now we'll go ahead and make that guy. All right, so now that that's done, let's do a sudo make install. And there we have it. All right, so if we do a DSD dash H, you can see some help here. And if we clear this and we get rid of the H, replace it with A, you can see some audio uh, <clears throat> output information and whatnot. Like I said, I'm going to be doing another video. Hopefully it'll be up here soon on uh, using DSD and a uh, GQRX together. Run it on a Pi. Now I ran it on a Pi 3 doing some testing. But we might try it on the Pi 4 just to definitely be more safe with the uh, horsepower. So other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe.